Hello and welcome to Hannah Made. In this short video, I would like to show you how I made this cute mushroom. Okay, I will not show you totally from beginning because it's time consuming. Uh, basically, I made the base for the mushroom and then I made the top. It's super easy pattern. Basically, you are making circle and you build it whatever way you want. But now I will show you how I embellished the mushroom. So I grabbed a really big needle and I doubled the yarn but by the way different color than the stem i kind of like it white the polka dots that i'm creating on the top of the mushroom will be white however the stem of the mushroom is a little bit of white beige color the reason for it is that i don't know who will and how they will use the mushroom but i do think many dirty hands may possibly touch it especially if this is a gift for a kid and I didn't want to use white for the stem because it would get dirty very quickly. So now I am using a French knot. French knot is basically um, f um, uh, wrapping the yarn around the needle itself and then pushing it back through. So I show you one more time. I pulled it through the bottom and I wrapped it twice. You can do it three times the needle as close to the project as possible and then I poked it back through the same hole or I used different one actually right next to it. So ta -da, that's it. I did not mention that when you have a needle, if you have the big one, you double the yarn, you make a knot and then you make a knot once you put it through the material. And then I didn't have to put knots after every French knot not on the yarn meaning, but I just used the one whole yarn for the whatever five, six dots I made. So this is a super simple technique. The French knot is one of my favorite stitches in embroidery, I guess, because it has got many uses and I did use it for my crochet project many times over. So this is the final phase when I'm basically making a knot um, <coughs> On the end of the yarn so the dots polka dots don't get um, entangled um, I do usually make at least one knot in this case I make two because I don't trust anybody anyhow and I also want to make it super durable in case kids use it as a toy so that's it so now you know how I made a cute polka dots by the way I did use buttons before as well that's super cute and there are tons of incredible buttons and there are some that look like polka dots or um, dots rather. So now another phase would be to attach the base of the mushroom to the top. I made them before as one piece but I do like this um, look what the um, two pieces when they are attached and the pattern of the cross stitch it makes, uh, you will see in a second. Uh, the important part is to make sure that the base and the head of the mushroom have same amount of stitches. I think this is around 30, which I find is a good size. Um, and then basically I attach them together. So I'm using crochet hook, by the way, you could use uh, the big needle and just stitch it together, but I hope you can kind of see the pattern it is making. So I go with the hook through the bottom part under both of the stitches. I go through the top and then I make single stitch. Ta-da! That's it. So I show you a little bit faster how it's done and um, it is pretty easy. It's easy to hold and as I mentioned I do like the look a lot. Um, there's tons and tons of different potential for these mushrooms of course. I do like them as a toys and part of gnome gardens and fairy gardens. Um, it depends what you fill them in and what yarn you use. If you you go for natural cotton and fill it with natural, it could be called organic toy. All right, I'm getting carried away. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you how this looks like and how I assemble them. Now, the important part is to leave at least one inch, one and a half inches. Well, 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 I'm going to eat you. Well, well, well. well, it's important to have fun when you're creating anything. <laughs> but right now I am keeping this little gap so I can fill it. So I already put 
polyfill in the leg and now I'm making sure I'm putting it in again and really make sure you stuff the end of the main body and then the head. I made a mistake before that I kind of uh, filled them separately and then the top part was little kind of moving sideways wobbly. So that's it. Once it's filled push it kind of back a little bit and finish the final stitches. Um, that's it. You follow the same pattern and you attach the two parts. It's pretty easy even though at times you have to wiggle it a little bit and push. I do have strong hands so I don't have a problem but I imagine for someone it could be difficult. In that case if you find it too hard use the needle. You can achieve, you can kind of do the blanket stitch and you can achieve the same look. So I'm almost done. Now I will sort of show you how to make the knot. By the way I didn't perfect mine yet. I can kind of rely, recognize where the end, beginning and end is. I still have to work on it a little bit. Once again with the needle you will be able to achieve cleaner look. However I'm not after perfection. I do like things that are handmade and they do look handmade. So you see me fighting there. Uh, once again, once I finish it I made a knot and then I also weaved it through the material properly to make sure it doesn't escape. Once again I'm thinking that kids may be using it as toy, they may handle it a lot and I don't want, I, I like to have pride in stuff that I make. I don't like my things falling apart after many uses. So that's it and then you can play with the shape a little bit. Um, I made mine kind of rigid, like very um, thick looking and strong and that's it. That's the final product. Ta-da! Mushroom time! So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my ideas you can join me on Instagram or on Facebook and I would like to thank you for watching Hannah Mate.